Hello and welcome back to TCG Dreamland. I finally got in my new awakening. I actually bought 12 boxes of new awakening because it's a new set and I can't wait to open it. This is a fantastic set. Tons of great value. So 112 types, but with alt arts, that's actually just over 130, I believe. I don't know the exact number, but there's just over 130 cards in the set. And this first one, I might go a little bit slower. So some interesting things about this set is there's dual color cards. I believe there have been in like promo packs or something. I, I mean, maybe I'm just going old and senile, but I remember here we've got our box topper, Cody. That's not bad. Most of the box toppers are above a dollar. So let's take this out just for funsies. Not bad. I think the box toppers for this set are all tamers. And then we've also got Arrow V Dramont Zero. Interesting. Okay, so what was I saying? Oh, there's a uh, multicolor cards in this. So maybe I'm just going senile, but I thought in like maybe in a in like one of the structure decks or something that there was a a car a multicolor card before. There have been white cards before. Ooh, Old Forest Redramon Zero is really cool looking. Um there have been white cards before, which are like kind of they're like rainbow cards, kind of, where you can use them with any color deck. But this set has uh, specifically like two color cards. So they'll have like a card that's green or blue and you can uh, digivolve them from digi eggs that are green or blue, for example. They also have like purple and yellow, I believe. So this set has a bunch of those cards and it's really revived some of the, some of the colors that have gone out of popularity so these first ones, I'm just going to go a little slow. I haven't seen basically any cards. Ooh, Skull Marimon. That's cool looking. So I haven't seen most of these. So there's one right there. See how it's green and red? Now this one you can only digivolve from a green card, it looks like. From a green digi egg. Some of them, though, it'll have... Uh, so like it'll be a green or red and then it also have digivolve cost and it'll have green and red there so We've got a TK a little older version of a TK. That's our that's an uncommon. Oh interesting. There's uncommon tamers in this set I didn't know that and We've got our first rare another Cody same with our same as our box topper. Wow look at it's actually really similar looking To the box topper. I guess this the the rare has a, like a silver border all the way around. This is kind of like a full art. It has a gold border. It's hard to tell the difference. All right, and our first super rare. Uh, let's go with Zhu Chaomon. That's what I'm gonna call it. Let me know in the comments how that's pronounced because I'm not sure. It's very very Chinese name. All right, second pack. I promise all 12 of these boxes won't take this long. I just like looking at all the cards when a set releases until I've seen them all. Oh, a missed memory boost. That's interesting. Oh, a red Gazamon also. Interesting. Oh, see, here you go. So this one's purple and green, and then it's Digivolve. It can be either purple or green. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Terriermon. We've got a rare option. Oh, that's interesting. Even the options are dual color. Oh, cool. That looks like a card from uh, from like classic collection. That's really cool looking. Okay, I'm kind of just 
nerding out over here. Sorry if the commentary isn't the best. This video is probably going to take way too long and I'm not going to have good commentary, but I just really like... Look at, look at that. It's like a... All his, all his fingers and toes have drills too. That's weird. It's cool looking, I guess. So I was looking, ooh, uh, Angemon, that's a blue yellow. I was looking at the at the cards. There aren't any aside, you know, discounting alt arts because all the alt arts are good value wise. Um, there aren't any commons or uncommons worth more than a dollar. There are a couple rares worth more than a dollar, but really what you're really looking for is just alt arts, super rares, and secret rares. Ooh, a flame Dramon. That's not the alt art, but still really cool looking. Flame Dramon alt art is like 30 bucks, I think. Flame Dramon is a really good card. And we got a Digmon as well. All right, six minutes in, we're only on the third pack. Okay, I'll go I'll go a little faster. Okay, Exermon, Scorpio Mon, that's pretty cool. Is that the tail? The tail has a huge knife on it. Sheesh, wouldn't want to run into that. All right, okay, that, uh, that's a creepy face. Wouldn't want to run into that guy, but for different reasons. Okay, we've got a Kari. Uncommon. Uncommon trainers are unusual. Or tamers, not trainers. Black Gatomon. Another Yuji. And a Magnamon. That's pretty good. All right, so... One not so good, secret rare, or super rare rather, and one pretty good super rare. Right, Brachiomon. Ultimate Brachiomon. <laughs> There's a lot of Digimon that haven't been in previous sets in here. Having fun looking at him. Oh, that's cool. Armadillomon. I think there's an Armadillomon. Alt art. Ryudamon. I believe the alt art Ryudamon is actually the highest card in the set. That's really cool. It's kind of got a samurai look going on. That's really cool looking. And a Shakumon. Going through Ankylomon. Master Tyrannomon. That's cool. That's really cool looking. Okay, so we're seeing some cards we've seen before. Agumon. Got the black Agumon. Very cool. And the Yole, anyway. That, unfortunately, is like one of the two tamers that's less than a dollar. Apparently there's a lot better red tamers than Yole. Gotta go back to older sets for your red tamers, because... This set isn't doing it for red, tamer-wise. Demi Marimon, Digi Egg. I know Demi Marimon in other sets was very good. Halsamon, rare. Looks like a griffin, kind of. Ooh, and a metal Greymon. Very cool. Getting a lot of really cool rares. We're a little light on super rares, though so far. Okay, I think I'll just kind of go a little bit faster. We've seen a lot of these commons now. 
Oh, wow. Full Art Uncommon. That's really cool. Rasenmon Fury Mode. Definitely looks pretty furious. All right, we've got Yukio. That guy looks creepy. All right, so that's our rare. Ooh, we've got a super rare now. Oh, Phantomon Fall Down Mode. That's an interesting name. So, uh, don't let this one bite stairs, is what I'm gathering. <laughs> Don't let that mon near stairs while unsupervised. Okay, go through the commons quickly. Oh, that one's pretty cool. All right, and now the uncommons. Sylphimon. Man, the artwork of this set's pretty cool. It looks, it's a little bit different than previous sets. I'm really liking it. Ooh! Black Wargreymon. Very cool. I don't think that's the alt art, but still very cool. I'm going to put that here, actually. I think that might be our best hit so far, that Black Wargreymon. It's black and red. You can digivolve it from black or red. Cherubimon, Skull Knightmon, Cavalier Mode. We've got a Willis. And we've got Frost Velgermon. That's an interesting name. It looks like a Frost Peacock. Interesting. That is a rare. Skip to the uncommons. Ooh, there's a pretty cool Vimon. Demi Devimon. Marsmon. Got Gammamon. Rare. And Dark Gaia Force. Wow, that is really cool looking. Options usually have really cool artworks. So that's like the Black War Greymon with like a giant. Ball of Destruction. Giant Death Orb. That's really cool looking. Probably not worth anything, but that's a really cool looking card. Can you imagine? I've said this before. Can you imagine if they made like full art cards of these some of these options? Like, can you imagine the full art of Dark Gaia Force? That would be so cool looking. That's... One of my suggestions, if you're listening, Bandai, make some, like, alt art or full art options because those are freaking cool looking. We've got a Digmon and a Yukio. That's a disappointing pack. Those are both duplicates. Ooh. That card has got a huge nick on it. Hopefully it's not a super rare. Okay, skip the commons. Demi Maramon, Vimon, Hawkmon, God Hero, and Azulongmon. So it's just a rare. That's pretty cool. It's a full art rare. Pretty cool. Full art rare with the huge nick on the back. All right, we are on the second half of the box. We've got four hits, so hopefully four or five for this half of the box. Don't think we've gotten our alt art yet. I don't think that Black War Greymon is the alt art version of that. All right, we have Digimon Emperor. Interesting, that's a white, so you could play it with any deck. Okay, and then another Yukio. All right.
right, Hakmon, Plasma Shot, Shuriman. Oh, there we go. There's a really nice rare for you. I think this rare is, is it like, it might be like almost $10. Davis has always been a really good tamer for gameplay. So that's a really good, oh, and there's a another rare that's pretty good. This was a good pack. We got both of the rares that are more than a dollar. I think this Davis, actually, you know what? I might be thinking of the box toppers, like $10, but I still think this Davis is a few bucks. So we got, this pack had both of the rares worth more than a dollar in it. That's pretty cool. I might set those two aside because I know those are the two worth more than a dollar. Davis has always been like the tamer to go to. I don't know. I mean, this video is already getting a bit long. I would I would look at the card specifically. The next one, I'd say the next one we pull in a, in a different box. I'll actually read it and stuff because... Ooh, Giga Death. That's cool. That's a rare. And we've got Shivamon. Super rare. All right. Uh, yeah, so what I was going to say is I don't know if this particular Davis is actually all that good or if it's just kind of riding on reputation from the previous Davis because there was that Davis from Release Special Booster 1.5 that was like an $18 card at one point. So I'll have to read and see if this Davis is actually good. Oh, Myotismon for the rare. And Bancho Mamemon, interesting. All right, next pack. Well, that's cool, Spinomon. Oh, I think we've seen we've seen a Spinomon in another set. It's a it's like a Spinosaurus, but all the fins on its back are like actually blades. It's really cool looking. All right, we've got a Willis, and oh, I think that might be our alt art. It's a secret rare, if it isn't the alt art. Secret rare, Imperial Dramon Paladin mode. Very nice, secret rare. Imperial Dramon Paladin mode. We're gonna move those like that because that's our best hit now. Imperial Dramon Paladin mode. Very nice. All right, so Plasma Shot. Got Sylphamon Rare and a Cody. Gotten both of those. So I have 12 boxes. We'll see how many, how much of the set we can complete with 12 boxes. It's going to be an interesting experiment because I bought, I bought it as a sealed case. So a sealed case has 12 boxes in it. I just bought a sealed case. So it'll be interesting to see how much of the set we actually complete from buying one sealed case. Got the Black Agumon again. And we've got Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode. That's another really good super rare. I know a lot of people are making Imperial Dramon Fighter Mode decks. I'm going to put this one there. Put it on the top row. Gonna rearrange those a little bit. And we'll do that. All right, we've got four packs left. Hopefully one or two hits. Hopefully two hits. But there should be at least one hit. All right, another Fury mode. We've got Marsmon. Oh, another Davis and Ken. Davis and Ken, pretty good. And a Rapidmon, there we go. Rapidmon is a pretty good one. No complaints there. All right, three packs. See if we can get one more hit. Giga Death. And we've got Climbmon. All right.
right to the uncommons. We've got TK, Kyo Kyomon, got another hero rare, and oh, I think that's our alt art. Wow, we got a flame Dramon. I was talking earlier in the video about how this is a $30 card. This is the flame Dramon alt art. Very nice. That is very nice. That might be our top hit now. Wow. I'm going to put that there, right there because we've already gotten. That's our ninth hit and a very good one. Wow. So first box. First box ever. And this is a great, great box. Let's finish out the last box packs there so wow we've got some really good cards here we've got some very good that black war on i know just off the top of my head i don't have like the set list in front of me i know that imperial drum on fighter mode is very good very playable and then we've got this imperial drum on paladin mode secret rare that's a very good card and we got the flame drum on Alt art. Look at that. I've said it in the past and I'll say it again. Digimon is just so good for value. So many hits. 24 packs. We got nine hits. And some very expensive cards as well. I mean you're 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 gonna get a secret rare and an alt art, or you're gonna get two alt arts in every box. So it's hard to not get your value out of a box, honestly. So very good box. Well, uh, like I've said, we've got 11 more boxes of this. So uh, if you like Digimon and you want to see more New Awakening, then definitely subscribe so you know that so you know as soon as I post a new video, you'll know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.